coming on. Um, I want to show you a card I made on the weekend um, using the Floating and Fluttering stamp set. So I do love um, butterflies, so when I saw this set, I thought that would be a great set to use. Um, and you can do any color you want with these guys. So the card I made is this one here. So it's like a floating frame effect, um, but it's a little bit different. So you can see that I've popped them up and I'm going to show you how to do that tonight. Anyways, and the other stamp set I did was the Happy Thought stamp set. So that's the one I used for the happy birthday in the middle. So, I'm going to quickly, we're only going to do, I've actually done three of them already. So these are the three that I've done already. I'm going to show you how to do one of those individually. Just because I didn't want you to sit here while I color in everything. And I'm going to show you how we use the stamps to color these in. Okay, so those three are already done. And I'm going to bring your, the camera down here and show you how to do the last one. I'm just hoping you can see. out so you can see me a little bit better okay so what we're gonna start with is I have stamped down with my memento I stamped down this stamp with black so just right there okay and I use four squares to do this so you need four squares of this stamp um, so you just stamp it on white cardstock And then we're going to color this in. So we can use the pieces from the stamp to color this in. So this is the, I just have all of the pieces here. So this is the large butterfly. And the large butterfly, we're gonna do the light, lightest purple. So that's this one here. So that is Highland Heather. So I'm gonna do Highland Heather for the first butterfly. Like I said, I did these four times. So this is the first one and the other two. So just stamp that down like that. So there we go. We have it fully colored in. So the nice part about this is it's um, double step stamping um, and you can stamp in all of the pieces. So you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about coloring it in with pens if you don't know how to use the pens. Um, you just need different stamp sets. So whatever colors you have. Um, I just used two purples for this because I thought purple and yellow would look nice together. The other purple we're going to use is Gorgeous Grape. And we're going to take the... Butterflies Outline. I should use this one. So that's the outline there. So it's the outline of the butterfly. Just gives it a little bit more color. So that's the biggest one. So we're going to use um, darker purple on top. So how I match this up is I matched up the little, um, there's like, five little dots on the bottom and if I can show you with the color on it so there's the see there's like six, five little dots on the bottom I just match it up with the bottom so the best I could and it looks really awesome even if you bump it over a little bit but it, they're really easy to match up and I'm not usually a double step stamper I, it usually drives me crazy 
and this actually was a lot of fun to do. So we did the purple. The next part we're going to do is the yellow. Hi Jane! I'm not sure why that looks so far away. Um, but anyways, that's the purple part. So the two purples. Now we're going to go into the yellow. So the yellow I use is, I use a light yellow and then a darker yellow. So So Saffron is the light yellow and uh, Bumblebee is the darkest yellow that I use. Okay, so we're going to do the base coat of the butterflies. So we're going to do this one and this one, but I'm going to show you them separately um, to do the light first. Just because there's two of them. There's um, the full butterfly, which is this guy, and then the half butterfly, which is this guy. So there's two pieces to it. And I know you can see me struggling here. I decided to go um, buy bird food and do running around before I came home. And then I haven't had time to eat supper, so <laughs> I still have to eat supper. <laughs> so usually it will stay on there. It's just because I've had it sticking. Anyway, so that's the yellow and then you're going to take the full I don't know if you can see that so this one here and then we're going to do that one in the darker yellow so I'm going to keep the yellows out just because we're going to do one more with the yellow so we're going to do the other little butterfly there with the yellow so this is the darker yellow and you're just going to I'm just going to try to bring my camera down so you can maybe see me a little bit better it looks like I'm like in a different room with this tonight and I have no idea why it's doing that the focus is like way far back the camera is not very far from, from me and the stamping is not that tiny. So what you want to do with this one is follow, you kind of follow the middle with the black um, middle of the, the middle of the butterfly. And so that one looks like that. So they're really, really pretty. And so we're going to take those off because we're going to now do the half butterfly. So we're going to take our light. So there we go. So there's our light butterfly. And then we're going to take our His little piece. So this is his little piece here. So it's a tiny little thing. And then we're going to take the darker yellow. And there's the darker yellow on there. And then the last part is coloring in the leaves. So we're going to take, we're going to put our yellow away. Just so we don't grab the leaves by accident. Or grab the yellow by accident and put that on the leaves. So we're going to use pear pizzazz as the color for this one. So there's um, three leaves that we have. So there's this one. I'll show you that one. So those are the three ones. So that one goes 
nhé And this one also goes over here. Like that. And then the last one is this little one here. I don't know if you can see that very well. There we go. And then you color those in. So they're all got shapes um, to color in, which is awesome. So you don't have to take, you don't have to have markers or Stampin' Blends or um, pencil crayons. And it goes a little bit quicker. So if you want to do four of them, stamping them all together went really, really quick for me. So anyways, the next part is we're going to take our framelits. And I didn't keep out my framelits, and I'm not sure why, but that's this one here. And I'm going to take my die cutting machine, and I'm going to cut that out. I'm not too sure why I didn't keep my framelits out. I'm just going to kind of move things back. Now you want to remember to keep your... Um, gorgeous grape out for later because we want to do the uh, saying in the middle for it. So I'm going to cut out and put all of our pieces away. I'm going to get my big shot. Sorry if you guys can hear, there's somebody outside and it's probably like almost right outside my window and they're um, um, cleaning the snow outside. So if you hear banging, like really hard banging, it's probably him cleaning things outside. Um, I'm sorry about that. There's not really much I can do about the banging that's going on outside. Um, the plows came this afternoon instead of this morning. And so um, everything got thrown. Um, the gentleman, I think, across the hall from me, he does the... Um, snow blowing I believe anyways he cleared up all the sidewalks this morning and then when I came home tonight <coughs> excuse me I just need a drink sorry Jane I'm trying to fix it I don't know I had a lot of trouble tonight with getting anything going Hopefully that's clear for you. <coughs> so we have that on there. So it goes almost like it leaves a little bit of white, but it doesn't leave much. But it kind of goes in there kind of perfectly. So you can cut it out. It's not hard to cut out. Sometimes I have trouble with these, especially since we don't have, um, with the new machine, we don't have the uh, magnetic as of yet. So we'll cut that out. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So it kind of pops out by itself. Um, it's awesome and it cuts out beautifully okay so I did my other three beforehand just because I didn't want to do all the coloring four times over I wanted to kind of make it go a little bit quicker tonight I wanted to eventually eat supper maybe around eight o'clock tonight instead of ten <laughs> so I try to make it a little bit quicker for myself so what we're going to do is we're going to take our base. So we're going to take a white uh, piece of cardstock. We're going to take a purple card. So I think I use the color I used for that. I believe that's not gorgeous grape because gorgeous grape is darker. That is Highland Heather. 
So I used the Highland Heather paper for that one. And then you're going to take your white cardstock. And you're going to take your happy birthday or whatever else you want. And you're going to... So um, that's happy birthday. Now you can put whatever you want in the middle. So I'll show you the stamp set. And like I said, you could use whatever you want. Um, you're just going to have to make sure that the saying fits in the middle there when you move your, um, so you can put thank you, thinking of you, um, congratulations, and I'm just going to do another happy birthday just because that seems to work with this card. So I'm going to use my, uh, gorgeous grape, like I said before, okay? So you're just going to stamp that down into the middle of the card the best you can. I know sometimes it's hard. Just put that in the middle. And then you have a focus of where you're going to put your butterflies. So the next thing we need with our butterflies, I'm just going to move things out of my way a little bit. We're going to use our dimensionals, okay? All right, so we're going to use dimensionals for this. So that's what we're going to do. We cut out our four pieces, color them all in, and cut them all out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move all of our stamping stuff away. So we're all done with our stamping. And you're going to adjust them to where they fit. So what I did first is I kind of moved these around. So that seems to fit there. So you're just kind of going to um, look at it and see kind of where it fits. So you're not going over top of that happy birthday. this one over a little smidge. I'm going to move this one over a little bit. Okay, so that's where we're going to kind of put it. So you're going to have an idea of where it goes, and then you're going to start putting them down with the dimensionals. So you're going to think, oh, there's only half of this guy. There's a full one of this and a full one of this in the, um, a full of this little leaf and a full of this little leaf. So the leaves I didn't really put too much effort into. But you want to kind of, um, do enough so it pops out, right? moving things around so maybe a quarter of this one so we're going to cut a little bit of that off now I know some people have trouble cutting into things and this type of card is going to be very hard for you because you do have to cut into you do have to cut into the after to get these kind of off because you're going to have to cut around the frame. So we're first going to put them all down and then I'll show you how to do that. So this one, we're kind of missing this little guy here, but everything else goes on the card. So you're just going to put a dimensional on everything except that little one that jumps out there. So just put one dimensional on each. Okay. 
And like I said before, you have to watch that you don't go over top of that birthday. So that's why it's better to do the birthday saying first. So this one, we've lost half of this one and half of this one and half of this one. So I'm just going to put um, one of like a, probably one here, one here, one there and there and there. And then leave this one out because we're going to cut most of that off. Which one did I say? I said this one, right? Oops. <laughs> you don't want to put... Oh, maybe it's that one. Oh, yeah, it is that one. Okay. So, one... I'll show you how... You're just going to put one dimension on everything that's going to um, sh pretty much show up. Anything you're not going to... If something you're going to cut, I would not put a dimensional on that. So most of that, we're going to take that one off. And this one I'm going to move. So what you're going to do is if you make a mistake like I just did there and kind of moved it a little bit too much, you're going to move these in more. You know what? They're almost all falling off. So let's just leave them like that. So this one, the way this little leaf is kind of falling off, so you can put um, dimensionals on everything except that little leaf that's right here. Sorry, this one looks kind of bizarre because I used the uh, I used the back piece to um, stamp. I have um, two black ink pads. And the one that's the most blackest, the one that has the most ink on it, I've lost it somewhere. So when I was doing this the other night, I just stamped down and I didn't realize there it's not very dark. But that's okay. It still looks good. So there we go. That's what it looks like now. So it kind of looks like a mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over. Hi, Marlene. So you're going to flip it over and it looks like a mess at the back. And you're going to take your paper snips. And of course my paper snips are not sitting right here. Because I was doing other cards on the weekend. So let me go get my paper snips. That's the trouble with crafting, right? And I have, I don't know, six there's a paper snip, so I'm not sure why I never can find my paper snip, but. So what you're going to do is you're just going to cut off with that cut. You're going to cut off any of the extra pieces that go over the edges. Okay. No, I had a dimensional on it. So that's why you want to try not to get your dimensionals that close to the edge. There we go. And one more. And so it looks like that. Oops. Sorry, I got it upside down. It looks like that. So that's pretty much the whole card and then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your base and you're going to take your adhesive and of course my adhesive is not sitting right here either there we go 
So I'm going to use the uh, Stampin' Seal. So that's our new adhesive. So I'm going to use that for it tonight. And you're just going to take it and you're just going to glue it down. On your... And leave a little bit of... A border around it. Okay. And it's all done. So it's a pretty card. Kind of got butterflies all over the place. And I really like this kind of way of doing it. Hi, Willie. Hi, Tanya. Man, there's a lot of people on here tonight. Anyway, so that's the way of doing that. Um, so first, um, you take the white piece of paper, stamp your saying down in the middle. Um, don't do any of the gluing until the end. Um, you're going to take four of those pieces. So it's the four, four of that stamp there. And I'll show you. It's hard to see when it's... So that's the stamp there. Okay, and then you're going to stamp those down and use all the pieces to stamp or uh, fill them in, color them in, and then you're going to cut them all out, so all four of them. And like I said before, we, were, we used pretty much every stamp in the stamp set to make these cards. You use the basic outline, so that's the outline there, um, and then you use the uh, leaves. Um, so there's two leaves. Where's the other leaf? this one this one and this one we use we use the, the two butterflies the other two butterflies and then the big two butterflies um, and we pretty much use the whole stamp set except this little um, square here that's the only thing I didn't use um, but it's easy so so easy to color in and every time you make it it looks different so here I'm going to show you my original one so that's the original one and because I move things around, and there's always a something stuck to the bottom, right? That's the second one. So they look totally different once you start moving things around. Anyway, thank you so, so much for joining me. Thanks, Jane. Sorry I came on so late tonight. Um... My computer is seeming to not have a lot of um, memory anymore. Um, it's an old computer, extremely old. I'm surprised I'm able to do videos. I'm surprised you're able to hear me or see what I'm doing. Um, but it is an old computer, so I'm gonna eventually have to just buy a new computer. So that's that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you guys all for joining me. Um, and hopefully we'll see you next Tuesday. I don't have a plan of what I'm doing next Tuesday. Um, this card, um, I saw somebody else doing a similar card on the weekend and I fell in love with how she did it and how it wasn't too complicated. Um, the one day I took this stamp set and I thought all the pieces kind of fit together like a puzzle. So I thought this, I thought this guy would fit together with like another one and then another one and another one like a puzzle and that's not how it works. So. I'm just letting you know that when if you buy them. Um, the other thing great about this uh, stamp set and the dies is there's two of them. So you can um, cut uh, two at a time. So when I cut them for the to do it, I did um, stamp uh, four of them and then cut two, two at a time. So it was easy. So it doesn't take too long. So that's awesome about this dies. Um, anyways, that's all for tonight thank you guys so so much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you next tuesday like i said i have no idea what i'm doing next tuesday i got a whole bunch of new um stamp sets that i still haven't played with yet um so i'm gonna try to play with one of those um i do have the snail stamp set i do have um you snailed it um I'm just trying to think of what other stamp sets I bought that I haven't used as of yet. I have the Sand and Sea stamp set, so I might show you one with that. And that has very pretty paper with it. 
Um, I have the Springtime Joy. Uh, the uh, Hydrangea Hill. And the Kangaroo and Company I showed last week. So I have a whole, whole bunch of stamp sets that I need to so show you guys. Um, Jane, I would love to do a folding card, but I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Um, because of the camera issues I have and because of how my lighting is in my apartment, um, folding doesn't really show unless I did it during the day. So I might do a folding card maybe on a Saturday or Sunday sometime or show that in person. So once we start getting back to doing classes again, hopefully I can show like folding cards and those kind of techniques. But folding cards really hard to do when um, you don't have proper lighting and the lighting is super expensive. <laughs> so right now, I am because we're still on lockdown and I am not making tons of money with my videos and with my um, with my company kind of doing my company stuff. Um, I just can't afford the lighting right now. So, um, so like I said, we have to kind of go with what I have and work with it. I'm glad you can see me <laughs> and I'm glad we can, um, do a lot of different cards. But anyways, have a great night and I will see you guys, uh, next week and I will show you something new next week. Have a great night. And, oh, and the other thing I was going to remind everybody of is celebration so celebration ends on february 28th so don't forget that if you want something out of the celebration book and you want to put in an order do that before february 28th um i know a lot of people come to me on like would come to me on uh, march 1st and say most i really want that stamp set and i say sorry that was in the celebration you can't get it anymore and they say what and I say, sorry, you can't get it anymore. But it always happens. It never fails. So just start, wanted to remind you of that because that time is flying by way too quickly. Anyways, have a great night, everybody, and hope to see you guys um, next Tuesday. Have a great night. Bye.